Hey everyone, what's going on? Thanks for joining me today. I've got something today that uh, I think quite a few of you might be interested in. Actually, a couple of things. I haven't even taken them out of the box yet. Just got them in and uh, wanted to show you guys uh, just because they're, they're different. They're different pieces that, that were sent to me that uh, I wanted to try out and wanted to uh, show you guys. So why don't we jump into it and check out what I've got for you today. Okay, I know a lot of the people that watch this channel are into the ultralight stuff because I, I do get out with uh, some rather light stuff. For example, the hammock I'm sitting in. This is my Trailheads Wraith UL that weighs in at nine point, I don't know, something ounces. I can't, I can't recall offhand. But it's a super, super lightweight, fully netted, full length hammock. And, uh, you know, so I think, I think a lot of people have come to expect that I'm going to have some lightweight stuff, some ultralight stuff on the channel. And so that's kind of what I'm bringing you today. So today I've got some gear that I get in, got in from Full Windsor. And, you know, titanium stuff is always sexy. It's always nice to, to get some new titanium gear. Uh, you know, I love my titanium spoon, the one with the polished bowl, just because it's a, uh, it's a great spoon. Easy to clean with that polished bowl, and it's got that that mouthfeel that, that I enjoy. So when Full Windsor reached out to me and they said they had some titanium stuff they wanted me to take a look at, uh, how could I resist? It's titanium. So what they sent me was the Muncher, which is a multi-tool of sorts, a uh, titanium multi-tool is what, what it says on here, and then the splitter which the splitter is a two-piece set and it is a spork, a polished bowl spork and a spatula. It's got some other features on it as well, but they actually clip together and become tongs. So really cool. So let's talk about the two of these for a second. So this one, as you can see, it's pretty short. I mean, if you look at the length, this is about the length of my Tokes titanium spor uh, spoon. Or, or any of the sporks that are out there, the long handle ones, maybe even a bit longer, which is something I actually really like. Uh, so that's that's really useful. But look at the length here. If we put this to the end, it's only about two thirds as long. Uh, the bowl isn't very isn't very round. It's kind of a an ovaly shape on there, as you can see. Why don't we open this up and get this out of here so we can really take a good look at all this stuff. All right, so let's take a look at the muncher first. So I've got it pulled out, and this is what it looks like. And it's got a lot of cool features on there. Um, so it's got like a, a bottle opener, a an actual can opener, because it's it's sharp right in here. So you could use this as a like an old army can opener and go around the can to open it up. Uh, it's got a bottle opener there. It's got a knife. Ooh, that's actually kind of sharp. A serrated knife on that end. Um, Almost like a little screwdriver end there. Spoon and fork on that end. And then it comes with this, this little carrier, which I probably wouldn't carry. But for someone that's out doing something like bike packing, where weight isn't a huge concern, you could take it. And it has a, uh, a flint, so you could use the edge and strike it. So you've got a secondary fire source. So those that go out, and want to make sure that they've got two sources. Uh, this could be a, a second source, but this is super, super light. I mean, that is really light. I'll have to put this on the scale, tell you guys exactly what it weighs, but man, that is light. But I could see wanting something like a cover because that is pretty sharp, that knife there. But the problem that I see is you'd have to have, either you're gonna have to hold whatever you're cutting with your hands, or you're gonna have to have a second utensil because this is your spoon and your fork and your knife on one end. Um, so you're kind of missing the ability to hold it down with something and cut. Interesting though. I think for a bike packer, this would come in really, really handy. Uh, you know, you can put this in here and you've got a nice little case. It's got a carabiner on the end, clip it onto something and it can hang there. Um, probably not the one that I'm gonna use most often. I, actually, I don't really see myself using this one very much um, like I said maybe for bike packing or something where weight isn't such an issue now on the other hand this one the splitter let's get this one open and take a look at this one I 
Okay, now we're talking. We've got the splitter. So the splitter consists of, of two pieces here. It is the spatula piece, which has a knife, a serrated knife on the edge, which is pretty sharp. And then a spork, which has a nice, nice round bowl in there, a uh, pretty deep bowl. And some spork tines on the end. Works pretty well right there, okay. So the cool piece about this is that these two pieces the spatula piece has this little knob on there, and if you put that in, now these two go together and they become tongs. So for anyone that uses a little wood stove or does any any real cooking out on the trail, this could be awesome. Now this alone is a really nice piece. The, the curve in it fits your fingers really well. Um, it, it actually, it feels really, really good in the hand. Same with the spatula for, for flipping something but then when it comes time that you need tongs to, to do burgers or, or hot dogs or sausage or something along those lines, um, that would work really well. And unlike the muncher, with the splitter, you could hold with this and cut with this, and you actually have, in my opinion, a more usable piece here. Again, super, super lightweight. Um, and then when you're ready to take them on the trail, they pack up, they fold, well, they, they kind of mate together right there. There's this hole right there and they mate together. And so you just kind of put them together, slide, and then they come apart and you've got your two pieces or you put them together and you've got your tongs. Uh, for me, this is an actually really, really cool piece. Uh, there are some trips where I take the wood stoves out and I do grill up some steaks or some other pieces. And uh, you know, if you're doing bacon, if you're out doing bacon, man, these tongs would come in super handy. If you're doing a bacon burger, now you've got a pair of, uh, or a spatula to flip your burger. You've got tongs to do your, your bacon. Uh, and then if you're, you're going low carb and you're eating it, you know, you can cut it up and eat it. So <laughs> full Windsor, splitter i think is a is a winner the muncher i'm not i'm not completely sold on and uh for those of you that are that are into more of the survival stuff or bike packing or something where weight isn't an issue maybe the maybe the muncher fits you let me know down below of these two the splitter or the muncher which do you think would fit into your pack which one do you think you would actually carry and use appreciate you guys checking this out. If any comments, any questions, leave them down below. I will see you guys down the trail.